Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Teresa here and today I have a Photoshop in 5 tutorial for you. This is a series of quick super short Photoshop tutorials that will teach you tools in Photoshop in just five minute videos and the goal here is to help you learn new Photoshop tools and stretch your digital supplies. And so today I published this video, the hybrid portion of creating this layout for the Tracy Reed creative team. And so I wanted to just share with you real quick how I created the letters for this alphabet title. And so the alphabet and the solid pattern papers that I used for those letters are all in the Time to Thrive digital kit. And of course, I'll have links for that product down below. And uh, they were really easy to bring together in order to create this really cool title and gives you an opportunity to kind of make it your own. And so I wanted to show you how I'm gonna, how I did that and you can see that um, all of these letters are, uh, they're on their own layer and I've already uh, created, made them into smart objects, which means that they're already sandwiched together. I'll show you what that means here in just a moment. That made it easier to uh, place them in the layout so I could visualize what it was going to look like but let me open a new canvas and I will show you how that all came together I'm just going to do a four by six canvas I should have done that background transparent but that's fine uh, a white background works great too so let's go in and open up this alphabet and open up one of the pattern papers. So let's see, my first name is T. So I'm gonna open up T. Now, these are available as brushes as well, which means that you can load them into your brush tool and adjust the sizing that way if you want to, but I kept these the original size. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and then I'm also going to open up one of the uh, solid pattern papers, or you can use the pattern papers too if you want to. Um, but these really were suited beautifully to the um, solids in this collection. So let's do a Control A, Control C, and copy that onto the uh, new canvas that we created and then also copy the letter T onto this canvas and so when you just bring them in like that of course you can see you have the whole canvas of the pattern paper and then the alphabet on top so let's turn those off well actually leave the letter turned on turn off the pattern paper for a moment and go into your rectangle tool and select a color, a weird, a weird random color if you wish. And um, let's go ahead and draw a rectangle around this whole letter. And we're creating the bounding box. And then once we have that drawn, let's slide that underneath the pattern paper, turn the pattern paper back on, click onto the pattern paper and right click and create your clipping mask. And then that creates just the, the yellow rectangle, the layered stamp on top, and you've got a rectangle for your base that sets the whole size. And if you need to, you can go in and uh, refine that size a little bit so that it fits exact around the T. Uh, or you can leave it, I think some of mine 
were a little bit messy and that's okay too. It lends itself to a messy border because the edging is, the artwork is distressed. And so that's kind of nice. And then once you have it the way that you want it, now you have this letter T, your textured background or your solid background and your base layer all sandwiched together. And so I'm gonna select all three of those and then right click and convert it to Smart Object. And you can name it, you can name that layer, layer T, so that you know which one it is. And now you can drag and drop this into your layout and use it, you can duplicate it. Uh, what I did was I did this for all of the alphabets with different pattern papers and you can just copy that rectangle over and over and over again to make it a little easier to do all the clipping masks and things like that. And of course, when you have duplicate letters, it makes it a little bit easier to just copy paste that letter in your layout. So I hope that was a helpful tutorial for you. If you have any questions at all, let me know. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear if there are some specific tools that you would like to learn more about and I would be happy to create a video just for you. Thanks so much for watching Photoshop in 5. I'll see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.